Welcome to hour nine in a series I call Designing Code My Personal Website in 12 Hours. Thank you so much for doing this with me. I'm so glad that you made it this far. You're a trooper. You're like the Chewbacca to my Han Solo. It's you and me against the Empire. In today's video, we're doing the Vine section. So let's check it out. We've done the hero image at the top. We've done the YouTube, we've done the mentoring. Last week we did the articles, and right now we're going to stick a vine, uh, a stick, stick a vine in there, the divine section. So let's take the columns. Actually, you know what? This, this vine. Let's look at it. Let's look at. That's a good idea. <laughs> look at what we're designing. It's going to be very similar to YouTube, right? Except for it's like switched. Um, the phrase, the background, and then like just a widget in the in the middle. There's not going to be too much. Uh, too much of this is not going to be too difficult. All of the interactive, interesting stuff is going to happen in this widget that we're just going to actually use as an embed, similar to YouTube. We're going to use as an embed from Vine.com. So, pretty straightforward this week, actually. So, because it's so much like YouTube, let's just copy the YouTube section, or duplicate the YouTube section rather. Uh, duplicate, and we'll call it section Vine. And then we'll go to uh, the main. No, not main. It's called index. And after articles, we'll add section vine. OK, there's that. And then uh, the next thing we need to do is add a section here. new file is underscore home de home dash vine dot s s i s and then we'll just put that inside of here and now we are set up for a new section perfect the only problem with our new section is it immediately looks like the youtube section because we just copied it. So let's go to this section, call it Vine, and we'll go to, oh, what's this, Photoshop, and get this text here. Cool. Um, it's not going to be order first, though, because, let's see, the order of it is the input on the left. So to remove this class order first. It's going to be second. And the call to action is called checkout vine. Checkout vine with a capital C. And uh, green colors and stuff, but that's just styles. All right, structurally. Cool. And then, uh, let's, let's, actually, let's just do the colors and stuff. OK, that looks pretty good just as like a default setting. Let's go to the SAS and make it look very viney section dot vine and I want the background background to be um, I don't know that color what is this color nope uh, that color what is that color that color whatever this is copy That color, and also I want the. Um, uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, I have an image too. Background image. Uh, what did I call it? Where are you? Background image. Mm, post thumbnails. I call it Vine .bg. Uh, URL. Vine uh, dash bg dot jpeg. Is it JPEG? JPEG. Okay. Now we just need to make that. What is it called? Size? Cover. Cool. Uh, let's make the color white. Text, text color white. And then we have the home dash CTA. And we want the color of that to be this viney color. 
it looks pretty good, right? Let's compare it to our PSD. Basically, it's flawless. Basically, it's perfect. Basically, it's amazing. Okay, now let's go get a vine. I have the Dev Tips vine. I call it just the tip. Anyway, okay, so what we're gonna do is go find the loop we want. This is the one we want. You look beautiful, don't you? Look at this. Look at that face. Beautiful face. So we wanna go to the embed and we will capture the auto play audio off. So it'll just be silently running. And uh, we want the 300 pixel size. And we do want it in a postcard. You can have it in a just uh, just a vine running or in the vine branding. But I want it, the purpose of this is to showcase that I do use Vine as a platform to, you know, do things. So I'm putting it in a Vine. I'll just grab this embed code and get rid of the video strip here. Get rid of flex video. Just basically put it in the column and wait for the refresh. It's basically amazing. Oh, look at that face. I love it. You're so cute. Uh, okay, we do need to center this here, and let's just do the same thing we did before with a dot DSC wrap. And then indent these two things into the description wrap. And then we'll make a description wrap. No, no, it's not DSC. What is it? Yeah, well, you don't want to. Okay, so this time there's two columns. So I'll make it. I'll just put an extra class on this one called description. Do you remember we did this last in the last article, the last uh, video with the article section? But I just put it on column one. That was bad. Put it on description, and we'll call it a display flex. And what's the other one? Uh, align items center. Boom, boom, ba boom, boom, ba boom. Uh, let's make it mobile. Boink. Okay. Uh, a few things here. This could be better. Let's do a media query at media. Uh, our mobile size is our mobile size is not max with max, max, max. With the um, 640 pixels, jeez. <laughs> oh, um, what do I want to do? I want to get all those call ones, actually, all the call ones, and make the text align center. Okay, that's what I wanted. And then also when we're smaller like this, let me just grab that description. and add a margin top of 50 pixels. Thank you. And then one last thing. Let's go, uh, this is outside of the media query. Let's just check this media query. Make it look. Walk, walk, walk. Right here. Okay. You're beautiful, you're beautiful, beautiful. You're still beautiful. You're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're still beautiful. Oh my gosh, it never ends. Okay, um, we need to, what is the last thing we need to do, do? Okay, here's one thing we wanna do. The design has a uh, like a drop shadow under this widget, and this has, the widget has none, so let's make an iframe, and say box shadow, and we'll say zero, three, uh, 20 for the spread or for the blur. And then RGBA, uh, zero, zero, zero. That, so that's black and then like 20%. That's good, 30%, that's good. Okay, and then the very last thing I wanna do is actually change the URL because I don't want this to go to YouTube. So let me go to the URL. I wanna go to this URL. Pretty simple. No, nope, not the embed URL. That you. Oh no, not that URL. Not that URL. Not your URL. Yeah, this one. 
Go to the whole list of them. <sighs> That's it. Look at that. You're so beautiful. And then here you can share it and smile it and go see other ones. Check out. Check it out, y'all. Cool, so that's that's the last part of the Vine video. There's not even going to be a part two. It was just that simple. Because all of like the really interactive and heavy working, heavy, heavy lifting is done um, by Vine itself, by making a video that plays. Like when you're scrolling down here, you're like, oh, scrolling, oh, this is JavaScript. Ooh, look at those tadas. And you're like, oh, it's a playing video of Travis's <laughs> Stupid mustache and his uh, smiling. <laughs> it's so stupid. All right, that's it. Uh, we'll see you next week. This video was made possible by the lovely support of the lovely patrons. If you don't know what that is, you should head over to patreon.com slash devtips. Patrons are people who support the show by pledging a sum of their choosing per weekly video. These patrons get deeper access, things like patron podcast, early videos, and hangouts and such. Patrons are awesome. I would love it if you joined us. Talk to you soon and keep on hacking.